from men who examine and diagnose strain and damage to ships to men who do the same for people. In other words, the local doctors. So over now to the Royal Society of Health to see the results of what doctors do in what little spare time they have, an exhibition of doctors' hobbies. First prize in its class is this telescope that gives up to 300 times magnification every piece molded by hand. The engineering and model classes are well represented, and if you ever wondered how those ships ever got into bottles, what about this engine? Enough to get anyone steamed up. Made entirely of matchsticks, HMS Loyal, entered by Dr. Henney of Warwickshire and made at sea during the war. While from Dr. Fletcher of Lancashire comes this river tugboat chieftain, also a first prize winner in its class. The boat, which has a working steam engine, complete in every detail below decks, took 4,000 hours to build. Conventional forms of art stand on their merit side by side with the more, <clears throat> well, unorthodox types, like this abstract in wood by Dr. Leesk of Surrey but to delight any taste is a beautifully hand-carved replica of a Stradivarius. The moving figures in this fascinating model village built by Dr. Staunton of London are powered by cotton reels and other odds and ends, but they work as smoothly as clockwork. Eh? Once upon a time, every doctor worth his salt had a skeleton or something in his closet. These days, you'll probably find it's a model railway or some embroidered tea towels. Ah, oh, well, that's progress for you.